Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech, where last episode, things looked pretty dire. And this episode, they're looking pretty great. Let's go ahead and deploy. No, this is the barracks. We need to go into the command center. Fantastic. Let's see what's available here, shall we? Hmm. This one is an escort mission, and we're against Comstart. That's definitely spooky. Ah, this would be basically the opposite mission. It's not actually, because we'd be against Hell's Horses, but <laughs> pretty much the opposite mission. Ambush convoy here. I kind of like this idea. Maybe we run around here. We're doing reasonably well as far as funds go. I don't want to dip into further salvaging. So we could start to build back, build this back up. Ooh, and this will probably allow us to ally with Comstar. That's going to be great. Let's do it. We're going to run the Hunchback 1G in over here, of course. Overhead, do you usually drive a Hunchback? Yes, you do. And this is the... Heavy Rifle Hunchback. Okay, I think I actually want to have Overhead driving the Long Range Hunchback. Like this. And then we'll have... Hmm, that's inauspicious. Glaive driving this Hunchback. Okay, now as far as the ghost goes, who's good at driving the ghost? Ringo does not have the... Okay, we don't have anybody who currently has ghost skills who is not currently driving something else. Buzz was in the ghost previously. I think we'll put Ringo in there because they can develop ghost skills. We'll also bring the Vulcan, and we'll also bring the Firestarter. Excellent. Excellent. And that, of course, will be Death Crusade in which one? Firestarter. And that will be Scrub by process of elimination in the Vulcan. He doesn't have Vulcan affinities. He's not going to get them. Okay. Yeah, I know we've got some unused tonnage. Let's do this. Hopefully we don't run to another run into another Shiltron like we did previously. Oh, that hurt. That hurt so badly. Like, he was just straight up one-shotting our mechs. <laughs> well, that happens sometimes, but you still, you, you just gotta risk it on fighting those tougher enemies if you ever want to move up in Rogue Tech. Sometimes, you pick out more than you can... I'm, I'm mixing metaphors here. You bite off more than you can chew. And sometimes, you get really good salvage. And sometimes, you manage to scrape by... And your salvage is hot garbage. Well, you know, that happens. For now, we need to destroy the Hell's Horses convoy and escape. With a secondary of destroying the convoy guards. We're tracking Hell's Horses supply convoys that have been delivering weapons and explosives to a self-appointed warlord here on Outreach. In return, his fighters have been wreaking havoc on Comstar facilities in the region. We need you to interdict the convoy and destroy it. Okay, so they'll be lightly armored. Command interface initiated. Is that the recon point? Okay, designated location for ex extract is over here. That's the denial zone. Okay. I would kind of like to be, like, right here would be the ideal location. Maybe we deploy here and move up the road to head up here. Since that's going to be the convoy location, we can guess that they're going to be probably right around here. Hmm, I don't necessarily like that location. Nope. Uh, that one's probably okay. Should, should have good clear LOS down that, too. Primary target on screen, Commander. Oh, yeah. Absolutely primary target on screen. So we see a Zephyr J27 couple of guys over here that are the actual convoy and this doesn't look very scary at all hopefully we can get some double heat sinks out of it or something uh let's see here who do we have moving Got it is our vulcan that. i think we're going to allow them to move first here in full our facing is moderately good Okay. 
Well, let's see what they've got here. Oh, that's a mech we didn't see. Okay. Oof. Unfortunate. But it's okay. What is that mech? He looked pretty small. An incubus? Why do we see that it's an incubus here, but nothing here, and that it's unidentified? <laughs> Awkward. Awkward. We're going to reserve. We'll allow this Zephyr to move. Oh, that's not a Zephyr. The Grendel. Okay. Is that a miss? I think that's a miss. And the Zephyr moves out of the way. Okay. I think at this point we start moving. I'm a little bit upset about the potential of stray shots. So we're going to move this Centurion down over here. And the only thing we can do is fire on the Incubus here. I mean, our hit odds are real low, but we can pot shot him a bit. He doesn't have much armor. Confirmed. And we missed all of it. I'm not shocked by this. Okay. Ready for orders. So our Vulcan is going to move up over here. I'd love to get into this cover. Maximum speed. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Just checking hit odds here. Looks like we should go for this Zephyr over here. Target. Real bad shooting there. Negative damage. Repeat. Now we had Negative low hit damage. odds, but I was hoping for a stray yeah. shot. Okay, this Hunchy is going to close in Not over here. Bad. Nice clear corridor of fire here. And I think we go for the Incubus. Copy that. Okay, 22 damage isn't great. We're not expecting much damage at rock. this stage, to be completely clear. We're going to move up with it. our big boy Centurion, and we are going to fire once again on the Incubus. Light him up. Here we go. Okay, missing everything. Stand still, moron. At this range, that is not surprising. That's just a J-27. It's not particularly threatening. This Hunchback we definitely want to move in with. On it. And so we shall. 37. Hmm. Yeah, I think we want to go for the J27 here. Locked on. That was a terrible shot. Okay. <laughs> no Not choice. even in the same ballpark. Large pulse laser stray shotting back here. Okay. That's fine. That would have been this J27. Orders. Okay, at this point, our Blackjack will move up. And let's look at our hit odds here, shall we? Hmm. Hmm, indeed. It's got to be the J27. I'm a little surprised we can't fire the ATM here. Fascinating. Locking on target. Primary target is damage commander. Indeed it is. That J-27 moves on up. Yeah, they're just grouping up the convoy. Fair enough. Wyvern closing in. A lot of laser weapons. I wonder if we could overheat him with the fire starter. I mean... Oh yeah. Absolutely. Waiting for orders. Our ghost is going to need to close in as much as possible. I don't expect much out of this, in all honesty. Eh. Uh, we just pot shot this J27. Probably going to stray shot our hunchy. I think we did. I didn't hear a damage report. Maybe we didn't. No, we absolutely did. We absolutely did stray shot the hunchy. Twice. I'm one. not super shocked by that. Okay, we're going to move up with our fire starter, of course, and we will fire on probably this J27 here. I'll make them dead. Yeah. I'm not shocked by any of this. These round one pot shots, we're never really going to get much done on. 
Okay. Round two, on the other hand. They're going to move their Incubus here. And let's see what they decide to do. Okay, pair of hits on the Hunchy. Hunchy is doing okay for now. Confirmed. The Centurion is just going to walk in over this way. I'm there. And, hmm... 51.3. Yeah, that's about the best we've got there. Okay, we'll fire on this J27. Oof, we missed the heavy rifle. Again. <laughs> okay, we're going to move up. And we're going to continue going for this J27, I think. Actually, we can't. It's not in LOS. We can go for this J27, or we could go for this one and hope for stray shot rolls. And that's what we're going to do here. Structure exposure on it. That's not too bad. Okay, that large pulse laser. Missing two of its three shots. Reporting. Minimal damage. Yep, not too bad there. And he managed to set himself on fire. I like it. Receiving you. So our Hunchy is now going to move up into the cover up here. And we definitely want to fire our heavy rifle, I think. Maybe we get stray shots. Acknowledged. We did not. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Our fire starter is going to sprint up over this way. And we are going to light this guy up with flamers. Roger this should that. kill it. Not quite. Oh, I'm taking heat yeah, that damage spread all over him sad. A 17? It's still going for the Hunchy. Missing almost everything there. And it's in cover, and its armor will hold through that. Okay. Where are they going to ace pilot to? That was the Zephyr, I think. Yep. All's good there. Fantastic. Go. The Vulcan is going to sprint up over here to avoid stray shots onto our own friend there. And we're just going to go for the kill on the J-27. Maybe we stray shot somebody else over there. Primary target is Excellent. Keep it up. Enemy vehicle destroyed. One down, nine to go. Phase 16. Who's going to move? Is the Grendel. That's fine. Doing some pretty good damage to the Centurion there. This is not super surprising, of course. Reporting. Serious armor loss. Yep. I'm now that's the plan. We're going to move the ghost up the road. And it will begin work on one of these guys over here. And actually, it'll be this one. We'll light up that J-27. Our hit odds aren't the best, but... Roger. That was actually pretty good. All things considered. We'll take it. Waiting for orders. Our blackjack is going to make its way up over this direction. On the move. And I would love to fire on this J27 with those ATMs. Do it. Those are high explosive ATMs. Giving them everything I've got. There we go. Fantastic. Vehicle down. I don't know where those lasers went. Armor bad. Uh, the lasers went into the rear arc of the ghost. Of course they did. <laughs> That's okay. I figured we'd probably have to deal with something along those lines. The Hunchy is going to move up here, and is this clear LOS? It's clear adjacent, anyway. This should be good. Oof. Double stray shot, including a Gauss up here. Enemy I was really forward. hoping that that wouldn't happen. They've blown past my armor. That's okay, though. That's yeah, that hunchback has a weak rear arc. That's okay. They're continuing to damage that centurion. That's not surprising. Yep, that's about what we expect. Next round, we won't have these issues, so. Okay. Commander. So the Vulcan is going to close in over this way. Aye, aye. Its current mission is to attack the Wyvern. Light him up.
That's a lot of damage. Yep. The Centurion is going to get out of the line of fire and position like this Four. into cover. And I think we're going to go for the Ordnance Transport here. Actually, we're going to go for the J-27. This is on its strong side. That's okay. He's dead. Ragged vehicle. Fantastic. Yes, Commander. Next up, this Centurion is going to close in up here. I'd like to just melee attack this guy, I think. From his side arc. Do it. Copy that, Commander. Target him for physical attack. Good hit. Very nice. Yeah, we're gonna destroy the escorts. It's okay. You don't need to rush, Sumire. <laughs> okay, so at this point, the convoy is gone, and all that's left are the escorts. These five over here. So the Incubus moves now, as, along with the Grendel, and actually the tank. That is rear arc. I didn't expect him to get into rear arc there. I expected that to be side arc. Yeah, that would just barely be in rear, I suppose. Okay, that's fine. We're going to move up with our fire starter. And we're going to go for the Zephyr here. We're not going to fire the medium lasers. In fact, we're just going to brace and sink heat. We'll get in closer. Okay, next up, the Grendel and the strike tank. That's fine. We don't care about that. Completely A-OK -okay with that one. This Ultra Auto Cannon is unjammed. Sure. Once again, we don't care about that. Missing several times with the Pulse Laser. That's fine. It'll probably Ace Pilot through some of this fire. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yep. Okay. So, at this point, we're definitely reserving our Hunchy here. We don't have a clear line of sight yet. Sure, that's fine. We don't really care about taking yep, that commander. damage head on. This hunchback is going to move up over here. Location confirmed. And we are, I think, going to go for this wyvern. Absolutely. Light him up. Engaging. Okay, that works too. That's a miss. <laughs> Oof. That's okay, though. The primary goal there is to open a firing corridor for this hunchback. Now, this fire starter is kind of in the way. We're not super shocked by that. Sure. Oh, now they tag the hunchy. That's not very useful for them, in all honesty. Okay. So next, we're going to move our ghost. I'm here. And the plan for the ghost is for it to come down over this way. That said, I don't like their positioning here. Hmm. Well, we'll have to come down over this way anyway. Light him up. My heat gauge is getting pretty high. And our blackjack is going to swing down over here. Location confirmed. We're gonna go for the wyvern. Decent damage there. And mean? now the Hunchback is going to push out over this direction. And the goal here is to fire down this firing corridor at the Wyvern. Good. It's go time. Waiting for okay. Orders. The Vulcan is now going to move in behind the Wyvern and go for a rear arc attack. We no longer need to work on the Wyvern. Let's move. You want to go? That is likely a knocked down wyvern, although missing the double AC5 does hurt. Yeah, that definitely hurts. I'm gonna take the fire starter up over here, and we're just going to kick the wyvern and fire the flamers. Very nice. That's a leg destruction, and an overheat, and a knockdown. Very nice. 
And a pilot ejection. Okay, we'll happily take that. Hopefully we get some good salvage there. So phase 20, the Incubus will move. It's actually jumping. Interesting choice. Very interesting. That been worse. I suppose the idea there... Well, I don't know what the jump was for. But I suppose the idea there was to try to stray shot the Centurion. Confirmed. But, I mean... Okay. We're just going to do this. Welcome back to the planet. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that incubus is very sad right now. Yes, Commander. Okay, our ghost is a little overheated. We're just going to move up here. Do we have... We do have Inferno SRMs. But we should probably just brace and sink heat with the ghost. I mean, we knew that would be an issue. The Grendel moves up. The angle on me. It's fine. That is 100% A-OK -okay with me. Standard I actually line. really like them taking that position. We're going to move this Centurion okay. up here. And I would absolutely love to light up this Incubus's front arc. Firing this in X2 mode, I think, is the best for our heat. And so that's what we'll do. Okay. The Incubus is very Sorry, close to being hit. knocked down. Watch my heat. Phase 16, the Zephyr moves. It'll probably try to backstab this Centurion as well. Actually, it didn't. I disagree with that. Minor, Commander. It should have gone for the Centurion rear arc, which is already softened. Oh well. I mean, this makes matters easier for us. Sure. Keep doing that. I don't mind. Reporting. Minimal damage. Okay. Yeah, that's completely Order. fine. We're going to position the Hunchback out over here. And it is going to go for whichever of these it has better hit odds on, which is actually exactly the same. So it'll be the Enyo because that has lower armor. Confirmed. Excellent. You. The Blackjack is going to position over here. Confirm. I'm thinking about going for the Incubus here. This is probably going for the kill here. In fact, this is almost certainly going for the kill. We could just fire the ATM, and I think that's the kill. Hmm. A knockdown. Not a kill. Okay, that's a kill. <laughs> Fantastic. Yep. So the Hunchback is going to move up over here. It has Got a it. clear firing corridor on these two. And better hit odds on technically the Enyo, which is ideal for us. Light it up. That was some terrible shooting with the Gauss way over there. That's very exciting. So the Vulcan is going to come in over here and kick the Enyo's rear arc. Fantastic. I mean, we're not going to get good crit rolls off of that, but that's Order. completely fine. This Centurion, the reason why I said this is completely fine is because we are moving behind this Grendel. And we're going to kick him Got right on back. Okay, we missed the kick, which is unfortunate, but we did get an engine crit on him, so we'll take that. Now, the Grendel moves immediately. He should probably move behind our Centurion, but he didn't. He attacked the side arc instead. Now, that did get a structure exposure, but I don't care. That, was a critical hit. that didn't really do anything important. So we're going to move up, and we are going to mostly look to sink heat here. We'll potshot this guy with our SRMs. Yeah, 
Eight damage. That's fine. Waiting for orders. Our ghost is going to move in. Affirmative. Fourteen percent. Twenty-six percent. Fourteen. Okay. That's definitely a lot of heat. We'll do something like this. This could very well kill the Enyo. All right. It's a structure exposure, but it didn't quite kill Critical it. Hit, Commander. Sad. Keep an eye on my heat, Commander. Well, maybe the Enyo will move through the fire and kill itself. That's very possible. So at this point, the Zephyr is going to move. And the question is, what exactly is it going to do here? Just go for the Hunchy again. Okay. My armor's getting stripped off. That's completely fine. Where is it going to ace pilot to? Well, over there. Okay. That's completely okay. I don't mind that at all. We're going to move the fire starter over here. This would be flames on the way. So we're actually going to melee from this position and just light up with our flamers. Fantastic. Very good armor strip on him. I like it. Good to go. This hunchback is going to position over here. We'll look at the hit odds on these vehicles. I'm concerned about stray shot over here. Um, let's go ahead and go for this Enyo. This will probably kill it. Firing. And indeed it did. Perfect. One for the scrappy. Yes, Commander. Next up, our Blackjack will position to attack the Grendel. Move order received. That's exactly what we're going to do. We'll light him up. Some decent damage there. I've yeah. definitely seen better. Now, I don't think this Hunchback is going to take this firing corridor unless our hit odds are very good, and they're not. So we'll just chill there for now. Yes, Commander. The Vulcan is going to go for the Royal Zephyr, absolutely. Unless we want to come over this way and go for the Grendel. Our hit odds would actually be substantially better for that. The Vulcan's okay. rear armor should be able to sustain a hit from the Royal Zephyr. I was hoping that we would hit one of those auto cannon shots, but it's okay. Standing it's not strictly by. speaking necessary. I'm going to reserve right now until we get to move this Centurion. The Grendel is going to move over, attack the Hunchy. This is not shocking. They've really been focusing that Hunchback hard. And it's fine. Like, I don't, I, I don't care. Yes, command. So at this point, the fire starter is probably going to remain exactly where it's at. This will be a slight overheat. But that's okay. Oh, we only hit one of those? That was unfortunate. Oof. Okay, so this Centurion is going to move up over here. We'd love to have the left side facing away from them, which is exactly what's going to happen here. I got you. It is rear arc. Okay. I've seen better in terms of rear arc hits. We'll close in over here. And we will light this guy up maybe around here. That did okay. I've definitely seen better hits, but it definitely did okay. I'm receiving you. The ghost at this point is still running pretty hot. Let's move it around over here, and then we are going to. Grendel's heat is pretty high. I think we're just going to do this with infernal missiles. It didn't hit very much, but we didn't really expect it to. Now they're going for the fire starter here. It's an interesting choice. Not one that I would have taken, but the they're going to have to move the Royal Zephyr through the fire here as they ace pilot, and they'll take some burn damage there. Great. Commander. So at this point, this Hunchy can get into this rear arc and mess this Grendel up. Locked on for physical attack. 
We did miss a melee attack. That was unfortunate. No joy. But that was good damage. Critical hit, Commander. Ready okay. For orders. The blackjack. I think that we don't fire this medium laser for heat purposes, and also maybe don't fire the LRMs. Although, maybe we fire them in listen kill. Yeah, listen kill will be fine. I actually didn't expect him to die there. Okay, we'll take it. What do you need? And finally, the Hunchy here. This is a really risky shot. And we're not going to take that. There is no way. The fire starter is going to come up here. Move into the rear arc of this vehicle. And we're just going to fire, say, these two flamers. Target lock on the enemy's rear. Our heat's too high to do much else. Watch my heat. The Vulcan oh, is damage. going to make its way up over here. Its heat is also going to go up, but it should be reasonably okay. Good hits, but no armor, pe armor penetration Commander. yet. We're going to move up with this Centurion, and... Uh, I think this is fine. Engaging target. Yeah, not a whole lot of hits there. Structure exposure on our friend. We're getting a lot of those rear arc stray shots here. Yeah, that was on this hunchy. Managing to hit the arm. Luckily, they're going for the blackjack for some unknown reason. I have no idea why they would ever do that. <laughs> sure. Whatever. More burn damage on the Zephyr. Yep. And at this point, is Roger. this a safe shot? No, it's not. Confirm. So we'll move in over here with the Centurion. This is a pretty safe shot. And we'll light this guy on up. Lock it off. All Wonderful. And then, Standing of course, by. our Hunchy will move in over this way. All we can shoot at him with is the machine gun. On it. That's a little sad. <laughs> Standing by. And the ghost will come on in. Coordinates received. How are these hit odds? Abysmal. Okay, we'll just sink heat. Good to go. Our blackjack can fire at him with the missiles, although we're apparently out of range of ATMs. So I'm going to close in a little bit here. We're still out of range of ATMs, but we'll fire on him with the LRM 20 in listen kill. Locking on. Okay. Orders. Next up, the Vulcan can move in over here. And I would love to get a kick on this guy. I don't really like this angle, but it'll do. Putting my weight into it. This is probably a kill. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. So now the question is, what do we get in terms of salvage? Well, we're going to find out. Eventually, anyway. <laughs> I'm hoping for a bunch of double heat sinks and double heat sink kits. That's the dream right now. But let's see what we actually end up getting. We didn't take any substantial damage, so, so that's great. ER large lasers are all well and good. But if you don't have the heat sinks to deal with them, no point. Ooh, Clan SRM6 streaks. Those are real tempting. And all of these are tempting. But here's what we're really after. Only single double heat sinks. Oof. That hurts a lot, actually. That hurts a whole lot. Hmm. Maybe we take two of these SRM6s. The three ER medium lasers. And then like one double heat sink just to make sure we get at least one. Now these are clan double heat sinks, so we will actually need the kit as well. We'll take the kit and we'll call that good for now. Clan machine guns, four of them, sure. We did get the medium pulse lasers. That's not bad. 
Generic armor. We'll get rid of that. Engine core 185. We don't have one. Ferrofibrous armor. We've got four. We did get a double heat sink. We did get some standard fusion engines that we really don't need. LRM ammo. We've got plenty of that standard LRM ammo. Narc beacon ammo we'll keep. And SRM ammo we've got plenty of. It was okay on the salvage side. I definitely would have preferred more salvage, but it'll have to do. In terms of repairs, it will take some time for sure. They stripped a lot of armor. They didn't do much internal damage. So it's probably going to be somewhere along the lines of like 80,000 sea bills is my guess. And maybe like 20 some, no, not 20 some, maybe like 12 days. But it won't actually be 12 days. That's just what Yang will think. We'll see what it actually is. That's just my complete guess. Eh, 95k, 17 days. Okay, go ahead and do it. Will it actually be 17 days? I kind of doubt it. No, I don't think this will be 17 days. We're going to move these slower guys up to the top here. And yeah, this will go pretty quick. It is, however, time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll get these repairs done and head out again. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.